my channel. I do hope you're doing well. So, you knew I had to go to Primark before I blooming went on holiday, didn't you? So you're probably thinking, Shan, you're very pale. Yes, I am. We are filming this pre-holiday, okay? Pre-holiday, but best believe that these bits you need to run down and grab, okay? Because I have been making sure that these bits will be around because some of them are returning favourites from last month. I've kind of repurchased some bits that I took back last month because I've kind of had a change of heart with them and decided that I actually do need these in my life. So my lovelies, we've got another huge bag because yes, I sorted out all my bags, put all my bags in the car, went there one day in lunch and completely forgot my bags. Um, also, I am very punged up at the moment. Just what you need before a holiday, ain't it? So I'm not going to river rabbit it because I have a feeling it's going to be a long one. Going to have a feeling it's a long one. There's a lot of colour. There's a lot of textures. There's a lot of patterns. Let's just get into it, shall we? Right. So the first thing I picked up was a new hat. New hat for the gym. Now, I think my hats have gone up a little bit. This was 2 50 I'm sure they used to be a couple of quid. But everything matters at the moment with the way the economy is going i just got a basic green one i may have got another one <laughs> maybe a different style hat as well but i just got a green one because i thought you know what we all know i love a bit of green oh it won't kind of clash with many of my outfits i hope not but for 250 i might even take it to the airport I don't know. Should I wear it as an airport hat? I normally do wear a hat to the airport. I'm not too sure yet. We shall see on that one. But yes, hat £2.50. And they had it in so many colours, my lovelies. Legit so many. Right. I know it's clearly not the weather to be wearing these because I sound like this. So I need to wrap up. But. Da -da 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 I got the £6. Used to be £5. Little triangle rib set, but my lovelies, look at this, it's pink. Pink to make the boys weak. Absolutely not. But, yeah, size small, you know me. Anything I pick up is either a size 10 or a size small for reference. I bloody love these, okay? You will see trial clips of all the clothes, there or there, wherever I put them. Underwear, you won't be seeing. No one needs to see that, eh? But, um, yes, absolutely love this. And I, part of me was thinking, have I got this colour? Have I already got it? You know, we try thick. And I was like, oh, I don't think I have. But if I have, I don't mind having two pink lots. I will apologise for my sniffing throughout this. Um, quite run down, to say the least, which is not great. Not great at all. And I sound like a snivelling mess. And my throat, my throat is so sore because I have just cried non-stop for the past few days. It's been an emotional, it's been an emotional roller coaster. okay? Right, what have we got? Should we get... We'll just get the hats out of the way, okay? Because I've got another two hats. <laughs> so, I picked up another cap. This one was 3 50 so it was an extra pound. But, it's got S on. My lovelies, I just had to get it. This actually could be my airport hat. This could be my airport hat. Am I going to want to wear an airport hat? I don't know. I still haven't even packed it. As I feel with this, it's Saturday. I fly on Sunday. We haven't packed. We haven't sorted out our outfits. Very, very stressed, okay? So you probably would have already seen the pack with me vlog. I don't know how that's going to go. So as I feel with this, you will know before me. But yeah, who knows how that's going to go. 350 But these, I think, are really good as like a secret Santa or a little stocking filler. Like, I don't want to say the Christmas word, but... Christmas is coming very soon, so little bits like that I think are really, really nice. And I saw this 100% wool, okay? It's £10. I think the price has gone up a little bit from last year. I think these used to be about 8 but it says 100% wool. I have a black fedora, a grey fedora, and now I have a tan fedora. Guys, look at this. This could go so well with my uh, brown crombie. Mum says you could pull it right down, which I don't like. I like it to have the little, like, dip in the top. Mum says that's like a cowboy hat, but I was like, I don't care. That's how I like to wear it. So, yes, this is what I like. 
another hat to add to the collection <laughs> of an overflowing lamp currently looking at it but yeah tent pad i don't think that's too bad because some places you can pay an absolute fortune for hats why have we gone very light cannon look at my wrinkly hands there we go um yeah hats you could absolutely pay i think my one in h and was 50 pad so a tenner you're still saving a fiver but yes oh i just need to quickly sort out my upload because it's very manic because you can imagine trying to get content up da, 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 da. let me quickly sort that out and i'll just show you a quick snippet in the bag look at all that color and did you see that texture if you saw that texture you know what it is you know i'm going to be very happy shall sort the upload out and come back to this all right i'm back <laughs> I still um I'm still quite nasally. Sorry, I did try and uh, sort myself out while I was off, but couldn't help myself. Right. You've seen this. You know how much I love this. My lovelies, last year I picked this up in a green. Last month, was it last month or the month before? No, it would have been last month. I got it in the camel. Oh my god, they got it in the blue. This is the Chanel hoodie. Where's my other little tassel? There it is. Chanel hoodie. Oh my god, I get it in a size small. It was £10. Let me just tell you, these are the softest things ever. Ever, ever, ever. They done it last year in a red. And I've still been on the lookout for the red. But I can't, I can't find it for love nor money. Guys, if you see these, you need to pick them up, okay? £10 for a Chanel hoodie. As I say, pick mine up. There we go. Size 10 well small 10 to 12 10 pound oh my god love it absolutely love it so comfy this could potentially could i potentially put this on for the airport oh god sorry about that and then take it off when i get to the lounge i'm not too sure but this is so warm honestly if you see this pick it up and if you see it in the red anywhere Please do let me know because my store didn't have it. But I was very happy when I found that one. So now I've got camel, dark green and that. Absolute staples, let me tell you. Right. <laughs> I'm such a child. I got some new cosy socks. £3 though. I think they've gone up a little bit. It might be because they're Disney but... Used to be, I think, about 2 50 Got some mini mouse ones. I have bought these for my holiday. I thought I want a nice new pair of bed socks. Because I don't know about you, sometimes my feet just get too cold walking on the uh, floors. So I thought I could have a nice new little fresh pair of bed socks. Oh my goodness, I do apologise. I sound like speaking through my nose, which I am. But you know one of them things where like you run down and you blow your nose? And nothing's there, but I can feel something's there because I feel like a silly. I feel like I'm talking silly, but I can't. There's nothing there when I swallow, when I sniff. Nothing is there. I'm just bunged up. I think I need to take a few paracetamols later. Indeed. If this just does not scream holiday bag, I don't know what does. I don't know. If I will be keeping this, I just saw it for the colour and I was like, oh my god, I need you. It's coming up a bit more red on camera, but in person it is like a burnt orange. And you lift it over, you've got two pouches, which is great. And this gorgeous gold strap, which you can either have outside or inside. It's not detachable, but you could tuck the chain in. And it is quite a solid chain. It is a nice solid chain. It feels good. I mean, could you have this as an airport bag? I don't know. I'm just thinking everything for the airport. I'm like, could I wear that? Could I wear that? But yeah, I saw this. I don't quite know if I'm going to keep it or not because, as I say, I saw the colour. It was the colour, the burnt orange. I was like, you need to come home with me just in case I've got an outfit. But as of this moment, I have no outfits for a bag to go with. That's great, isn't it? Right. Oh, my God. Yes. Last month, I picked up this cropped Aran cream knitted jumper with the three-quarter zip, which we all know I have been loving. A lot of you have said to me as well that they do a dressing Primark of the same design with a three-quarter zip. Mine hasn't got it in yet, so I'm a little bit annoyed. But I got it in the blue. Guys, I'm so happy with this. 
It is £14, okay? But I highly recommend it. I really, really do. It's obviously, if it's really cold, you'd have to wear something underneath because where it's kind of like an Aran knit, there are like little holes. So you've got a little bit of mesh, you know? And you have your zip, which you can have all the way down or all the way up because it does go all the way up if you want to. I like to have it a little bit open. Not show the girls, but like to show the top that I've got on underneath. I normally wear, you know, my little three pound Primark rib tops. I wear one of these underneath it. But that's so comfy. When I wore my cream one, everyone was like, oh my God, where did you get your jumper? I was like, Primark. Yes, yes, yes. Primark is killing it at the moment. I love it. It is a cropped vibe. So it's not necessarily the longest of jumpers, but I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. I think that that is going to be very, very nice indeed. And so you will see in the try and clip here, there, whichever way I put it. Yeah. This just start with some G's is my go-to for work at the moment. Obviously not this one, the cream one I got. But yeah, when I saw the blue, I was like, you're coming home with me. Okay, you're coming home with me. And I was really in a blue moment because I picked up another underwear set. Oopsie! This purely I bought for holiday because I'm thinking if it's going to be hot, you know that I'm going to be taking all of my ribbed ones. I want to feel like lacy ones. When my tan's coming along nice and I want to feel nice, not after, say, a huge three-course buffet meal and I feel bloated. But maybe maybe for a day that I've had a good day clean eating, we got this. So normally with these styles, I am 34 double D, okay? I normally size down to a D because I just find they gape a bit more. However, sometimes I do size down to a C also. A C or a D in Primark is what I go for. But these are gorgeous. These are six pad as well. So instead of a rib set, these are a little lace set. Gorgeous. There's no padding, nothing. Very much like a lounge vibe. And then the back is, well, it's not a thong. It's an actual G-string. It's like a cheese wire, ain't it? you got more material on this bit of the bum and then it just absolutely goes. But these are so flattering on. I think I've got quite a few. I'm thinking I've got some basics and potentially some colours but I have seen online that they do these in emerald green red and I'm say I want to say like a purple burgundy but yeah I just saw this one in my store and I was like you're coming over with me I managed to get that in a 34d and I think because I remember picking up another set slightly different design but it kind of ties in with something from last month that I said I wanted to get. And I think I've got the other one in a C. But, yeah. I did pick up some leggings, though. I picked up some gym leggings. You're probably thinking, Shannon, why? Because I actually do want to try and go to the gym while I'm away. I don't want to completely ignore my fitness. So these are the workout range. Size small, 10 to 12 again, 10 pad. So we all know I'm a little bit hit and miss with Primark gym wear. They could either fit... Or you could have the text going, wah, 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 didn't fit. I liked them because they had a nice high waistband. They've got a pocket in the side, which is fabulous. So you can put your phone if you're running or having a walk back. And I just thought they looked really nice, especially coming into winter. They're a bit more thicker. They're not necessarily the lycra material. So I'm hoping that they're not going to be see-through. That will be the test of time. They actually... Oh, this is where I think maybe I should have sized up. But you'll see in the trial clip, I thought for £10, we'll give them a go. If not, if not, Mama G will have to return them while I'm away, bless her. But yeah, I always like to give Primark um, gym bits a go because, you know, sometimes I've had some amazing pieces and some right little bargain finds. Sometimes, not so much. Sometimes it has been a bit hit and miss, but I'd probably say eight times out of ten, it's been a success. I would just avoid Primark black leggings because I haven't found a squat proof pair of black leggings or shorts from Primark I'm afraid just got like my head hearing in the bag so this is something that I got last month in a different color wave I got it in more of the cream version and I done it up because it is supposed to be like a shirt dress done it up it didn't really do anything if you remember the clip it pulled at my hips so I went back and I tried a 12 and then the 12 just hung off me. So I was like, great. There's no there's no in between. There's no size 11. So I picked it up again, but I went for the darker version. So this was a size 10 and it was £13. 
You'll see more in the try clip. It's a lovely brush cotton, long sleeve shirt dress that goes down, 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 down. But I'm thinking of maybe just trying to style this one as a long shacket in a way. Where the other one I try to have it as a dress, this one I kind of prefer the tones a bit more because I'm trying to get some brands and that in it. And it's brown, red, I'm going to say rust, blue, black. It's got a nice little mixture. So could I, maybe not with that jumper, but I would definitely style it with like say jeans or say for example if you did have some black leggings on and a top and the leggings are a bit see-through. We've all got that one pair of black leggings, my lovelies, that you know are see-through, but you still go out in them because they're just comfy. This could be just a perfect little chuck on, so then you ain't got to worry about any uh, awkwardness or anything, you know? £13. <sighs> it is kind of expensive, ain't it? But it is a long piece, of which is incredibly versatile. If you can get away with it as a dress, good for you, but I just, I can't. And as I say, there's no, there's no size 11. I'm like, I'm, I'm right in the middle here. These are for holiday. I got a basic pack of thongs. So as I say, these were three. Oh, they've gone back to three for three pound. Oh, who remembers when these went up to four pound? We've got two black and one white. I thought I'd just get a fresh, you know when you just want like a fresh, nice new pair of undies and these are classics. So these, again, are going straight in the holiday pile. I need to like take tags off half my stuff as well because a lot of stuff has still got tags on. So that's very worrying. And I've got to try my bits on. Oh my god. There's so much to do, my lovely. There's literally so much to do. And there's just not enough hours in the day as I'm filming this. This time in 12 hours I will be at the airport. So you haven't got a lot of time, Shannon Lee. You have not got a lot of time, girl. But what I have got time for, you know me. I blooming love these, okay? There is so, so many. There's a black one, there's a grey one, and there's a navy blue one. Best believe when I come back, I will be trying to pick them all up. These are £7, my lovelies. I got them in a size 10. They're an oversized brush cotton tartan check shirt, okay? But remember last month I got it in red. This month I've got it in the green. These are perfect. Chuck them on as a chuck over. Have them as an actual shirt do them as a tie up whatever you want and they are the softest material ever so so soft and i basically want every single color these if you remember last year i got in the pink checkered the green checkered and then it's like half brown half blue it's basically all the same style just slightly different color variants but they are staples for me if i don't know what to wear as a jacket or anything i chuck on a shirt I'm quite simple with that. And as I say, you'll probably see in the trunk clip, I style it very, very simply. I think they're just a staple. And as I say, for seven quid, I've seen some uh, shirts in River Island pushing nearer the 30 quid mark. So for seven quid, I'm happy and dandy. Let me tell you that. Something is just jumping. Did you see that? Something just jumped out of that bag. Oh, no, no, no. What's going on here? I think that is the cue. I'm going to quickly go and have a little refreshment because I feel like I'm quite parched and hopefully clear up my throat so we can get back into the video because I've got a few little different bits in here and another holiday bit. Oopsie. I feel like we're all good. I feel like we're all good for the moment. So you would have seen something there was jumping out the bag. And if you remember last month, I picked something up in like a lilac. And I was like, they had it in a green, but they didn't have my size. I got there and they still didn't have my blooming size. So I had to go for this in a C. But these are gorgeous. Oh, it hasn't got the price on. Why do I feel that this is six or potentially eight pound? Six or eight, my lovelies. I got this in the lilac last month. But the green just called my name. How gorgeous is that? How blooming gorgeous is that? And again, it's a nice little front, practically a G-string at the back. But yeah, I'm sure these are six or eight pound. I think they could potentially be eight because they're slightly different to just the all over lace. You have the little design on here. But this, whether it's a C or a D, just try it okay just try it you don't need to be paying 40 50 quid for a set from lounge because these do their thing and let me tell you 
I feel like a million dollars when I'm wearing these ones. My Primark ones, especially my rib set, which is I've got a set on now, which I'm absolutely fantastically loving. It's so comfy. It is literally so, so comfy. Like I'm sitting down, I'm not getting wedgy. I'm not like feeling in a vice. The girls are just relaxing because they've been a little bit, probably TMI, but they've been a little bit sore. I think it's with the stress of everything. Um, the girls have not been doing great, to be perfectly honest. So yeah, it's just a nice comfy set. Obviously these ones, gonna be a bit more for like if you, I don't know, you wanna treat your partner to something special. I, however, just wear them for me. <laughs> um, I just wear them to make myself feel good. Because I think I put all my effort in the gym and now I want to appreciate myself. Okay, I want to appreciate myself. And that I do in that type of uh, lingerie, let's just say. Right. <laughs> now, I think I could potentially have these. But I still picked them up anyway. Because you can never have enough. My lovelies, do I ever do a haul without getting some footsies? Or footies. I call them footies, okay? It is the sport footies. Sport footies, whatever they are. I got another five pack. I feel like I could potentially have these because the blue looks familiar. But I don't think I've got the green. So you get five for £3.50. I love these for the gym and running because when I wear normal train socks, it sounds so silly, I can feel the difference. Because these have like a little bit of um, added extra in the back, like for the arch, it's a lot more softer. A lot more softer on the feet. It's aerated, so obviously... I have problems with my toes and that, so I have to have like some form of aeration. I can't have nothing too tight because my toes are like, no, let me go. We don't want to be running. Yes, absolutely love them. Saw them at the checkout and I was just like, just go in the basket because I don't know if I've got you. And if I didn't have you, then I wouldn't be happy if I left you. Now, I've got some holiday shoes, okay? Um... Now, it says on here $20. I'm going to say, knowing Primark, they're normally like around the £12, £14 mark. I'm going to say that these could potentially be 14 to 16 just because of the style of them. So, they are kind of like a square toe. They are a croc effect black, but they're a very nice height. They're a little bit taller than the ones that I normally get. Loved the ankle strap. I will also do a little try and clip of the shoes. I'll put it somewhere around here just to show you. But I thought these could be a perfect holiday heel. Just for those nights where, say if I am going to potentially, I don't know, the steakhouse. And I actually want to get dressed up and look a little bit nicer. These, a classic black heel. Because I have got a classic white heel somewhere. Can't remember where it is though. That's a little bit worrying, ain't it? I've got to sort out all my shoes. That's the thing. Oh my god, all my shoes are under my bed. Oh, what a palaver. Oh, my voice went a bit funny there. <laughs> what a palaver I've got to sort the shoes out. So, these, I'm hoping they're going to be all right. I hope they're going to be comfy. But yeah, I'm going to say 14 to 16. Just because it says $20, it hasn't got the price on. Which, has anyone noticed, sometimes in Primark, the prices are in dollars and euros and not pounds. So you're like, uh, what is the price, please? I don't want to be standing there doing like a currency conversion. I just want to get me shopping and go out. Right. You will recognise this and you'll think, Sham, why have you bought it again? My lovelies, who remembers last month, right? I bought this skirt, didn't I? Bought the skirt and I really, really like the skirt. The skirt is £10 and it's matching items available. If you remember last month, I paired this with the whisket. Or, no, it was everyone telling me tank top. Tank top? I think everyone's telling me tank top. Which was basically like a knitted vest. Paired it with that. I love the skirt. But I didn't like the tank top. So I thought I can't, I didn't want to keep one without the other, you know? And then I went in this week, this was £12, and it's a cardigan. So I'm thinking this is perfect because I could wear a white or black jumper under it and chuck this over. I could even wear one of my Primark, like £3 ribbed vests if it was a little bit warmer. I really like this. So when I saw it, I was like, yes. I'm going to repurchase it like I did with the long shirt dress and see if I can make it work. Because I do really like the skirt. It's a little bit short, however. Um, my friend just stared at me and was like, okay. I was like, no judgment here. I think it was also the print as well they weren't really a fan of. Because they're not really 
they think that maybe I'm a little bit garish. I don't know. I do get questionable looks about my fashion sense, but hey-ho, I don't care. So I'm thinking with the cardigan, it could be a lot more versatile. And likewise, I would probably wear the cardigan on its own as well. So I think this could potentially be a lot better of a matching combo for me instead of having it with the tank top. And right, I got a pair of these last year and they just was not comfortable at all. I tried to wear them around the house, done the try on clip, couldn't, no, could get on with it. So I've persevered and I'm going to give them a go again, my lovelies. I've got a pair of their Chelsea boots. So they had them in the brown, which I got. They also had them in black. And I'm sure it was like a navy blue they had. So they are £17. And we all know I love a Chelsea boot. I really think that they're a good dupe for a Timberland boot, which I have seen online. And they're about £95, I think. So you've got your nice chunky sole. Your elasticated bits here so you can get your foot in. The only thing I'm not too keen on is this tag at the top. I don't know, do normal Chelsea boots have that? Do my Doc Martens have that? They probably do, don't they? My Doc Martens are my only Chelsea boots that I have. I can't actually remember. Oopsie! But yeah, maybe that is part of the style. I don't know, my lovelies. But for me, I just thought, we'll give them a go. We'll give them a go. Just tucked in jeans. I couldn't wear them with that, could I? No. See, like this, tucked in jeans with the white three-pound Primark vest top on and the checkered shirt, good to go. But I'm just hoping they're comfy because last year they was not comfy in the absolute slightest. They were horrible. So we're going to give them another go. Don't say that your girl don't persevere. And my lovelies, that is the end of the haul. You may think, Shan, you've not bought much, but I've bought quite big bits, I think. And also I feel like I've been talking quite fast on this because I don't want you to have to listen to a snivelling absolute mess. So let's get into the outro, shall we? So, next month will be Christmas content. It'll be November, so we'll still be winter, but we'll be winter and festive, okay? So best believe next month there is going to be a lot more patterns, probably a lot more greens and reds, more blues and... I think the oranges and the rusts may fade a little bit, but the orange, not the oranges, you've just said the oranges again, Shan. The reds and the greens and the blues will be coming through. And I really hope that Primark are going to get in their thick knitted, you know, the roll neck dresses, maybe in some different colours. I've got the black, white, grey, but they're just so comfy. They're so practical. On those days when you just don't want bloat and you get bloat, unfortunately, these dresses, they just hang off you like a glove, and they are absolutely perfect. So I hope they do a lot more of the roll neck stuff. The jumpers and that this year seem to just be the same currently for this time of the season, but yeah, I hope they uh, pick it up with the winter bits, you know? However, you would have already known if these things got a thumbs up, thumbs down, because I've now got to go and try these on. Um, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. As I say, I do apologise for being an absolute snivelling mess looking like this you're probably thinking shan this ain't you normally your primark calls you at least have your lashes on i feel like a little naked eagle at the moment with no lashes on but i can't you know it's just it's just one of those times you've seen me like this before it's just a very stressful day and to be honest i did not have the time to be putting makeup on so you just get au naturel me and as i say you've seen me worse than this so it's not, it's not gonna get any worse is it it's not going to get any worse at all. But yes, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. As I say, leave me a favourite comment. Favourite comment? A comment of what your favourite bit was. Do you think the skirt looks better with the cardigan? Or did you prefer it last month when it was with the tank top? I think it's tank top. People are going to come for me in the comments if it's the wrong thing. I think you all told me tank top, so thank you very much. Have you picked up any of their underwear? Saucy, saucy. And what do you think of the Chelsea boots? Are we going to say yay or nay? Have you got them? Have you had them? Personal experiences, please. Let me know, okay? But yes, take care. Stay safe as always. And I shall see you... When will I see you? Probably tomorrow, because this will go up on a weekend because it's a haul. I'll see you tomorrow for probably another haul. Bye, guys.